Hi everyone. This is Zheng Chen from Easy Stack in China, and this is my colleague Wang Bo, and uh, we will give us uh, give you a next generation of our product ES Cloud, OpenStack Cloud as a service uh, in minutes. So after a brief description of what our product is and what cloud as a service is, there will be a live demo here. So let's focus. Now let's talk about what is cloud as a service. Uh, we, we all know the cloud is not a commodity. So there is private cloud. Uh, there are many enterprise provide private cloud as a service, but you will concern about the scalability. Now there is public cloud, public cloud like uh, the AWS and uh, something else. Uh, you will concern about your data security. Now there are our companies who care about this to use a hybrid cloud, connect them together, and uh, like Rackspace like Blue Box, they provide hosted on-premise cloud. We mean what is cloud as service. You can have all this cloud, all this kind of cloud together with ES cloud. We resharping cloud computing by offer private dedicated hosted public cloud and uh, hybrid cloud in a single platform based on Horizon with AngularJS simultaneous and uh, instantly, of course, it's all based on OpenStack, so you can use all the OpenStack features like a federated identity and so on. Now let's talk about the features. Cloud as service, first, we need more flexibility. We provide a mix of bare metal and the virtual resources pool. You can take whatever you want to build up, spin up your on-premise cloud and, uh, in seconds. Uh, and do your business, you will never care about uh, the cloud scalability because you can add a compute node, you can add a storage pool, and uh, you can adjust your network assessment. And uh, with per host billing strategy, you will pay for what you truly use. The second thing is about the control. We have multiple cloud here and the multiple hypervisor storage pool choice like KVM, VMware, and Power VM. You have Ceph, we have enterprise storage, and uh, with ES Cloud, you can see this. We have a cloud create in minutes with VMware, Ceph, uh, enterprise storage for your business. And if you want to de development cloud, you can have KVM with Ceph. You even have your business cloud and to storage some uh, very important store, uh, information. So you have Power VM here, and uh, you can use the software defined network and the uh, network function virtualized to connect this cloud together and uh, transform this cloud from private to the public. Now, the important thing is the security. Security is a multi-dimensional thing. So let's talk about it from the beginning, the hardware isolation. What, what is hardware isolation? You can have your compute node in different rack if you want. You can have your storage pool. There is no other, no noisy neighbors uh, data in your disk, in your per disk. You, have, you can have your isolated network. You have you can get internet access separately. That's the, the basic thing to ensure your entire cloud is, is secure. Like the graphic, there are cloud Beijing and cloud Tokyo. Maybe they are in the different internet data center, and you can manage it with ES Cloud in a single platform. Now, let's, let's welcome my colleague Wang Bo to give us a uh, demo to create an uh, open site cloud in minutes. OK, now let me give you a live demo about dedicated cloud. Uh, log into the dashboard. Uh, here I use the created user. Uh, 
currently you can uh, register a new user here. Okay, this is an overview page of uh, a public cloud. Uh, you, can, you can see the user info, the billing info, and the recent operation logs. Uh, on the left side, uh, here are the uh, instance volumes and other panels. Here, we, you, here you could create products and set product quotas. Also, you could uh, create users and uh, associate users to the product. These two buttons, you can switch between uh, public cloud and dedicated cloud. Now I switch to dedicate. OK, this is the uh, initial page. It introduces you uh, what is dedicated cloud. Uh, it includes uh, three, three type uh, physical Computer host here, and the two hosts was selected. A second, critical storage pools. Uh, here we have uh, HDD, SD, SSD, two tabs, and you can input the uh, storage pool size. And other one. Uh, here we use uh, Ceph in our environment. Next, I need to make sure. Okay, the last step, uh, you can apply for uh, public IPs and network controller backups. Uh, here, I want three public IPs. Okay, I submit. Uh, here we can wait to see how long it takes to uh, build a dedicated cloud. Uh, with the infra, the resources, uh, the deployment is running. Uh, normally, it takes 10 to 40 seconds in our test. Wow, it's done. Let me refresh it. OK, in this, sorry, the, the network issues. OK. Uh, till now, the uh, public, uh, the dedicated cloud has been set up. On uh, this page, you, uh, shows the detailed info about the resource. Here, you can see the computer host, the host name, uh, the configurations, and and the storage type, storage size, and the network controller host. Now you can create uh, virtual resources like what we do in public. Firstly. Uh, I can apply for floating IPs. Sorry. Okay. Choose the uh, pool, resource pool, and uh, give your bandwidth here. Give three. Uh, three, four is okay. Uh, we need more pub floating IPs. And the next one, uh, you can see the warning info because uh, we only applied for three uh, public IPs in the uh, uh, last step. You, you remember that? So this is a, a warning info. Next, go to the router page. Here is the router. We can associate a floating IP uh, that is set gateway. Right, and choose the floating IP we just uh, applied. Okay, then we need to make sure the the network, the network we use for instance, uh, could be uh, should be uh, connected to the router. 
Let me check it. Uh, there isn't. Let me check if we have networks yet. Okay, this is a network uh, has been just uh, has been created for test. Go back to the router and connect it. Okay. Now we can create instance, create volumes, and use the floating IPs. Create an instance. Give the instance name. And select image, the flavor. We can use the smallest one to test the networks and the password. Just for test. OK, launch the instance. Uh, it's building. We go to the volumes pay link to create a volume. Here we can see the, the volume type. This is just the, uh, we applied HDD. Give a storage name. And the size. And we can attach the volume to the instance just created. OK, this is uh, the instance we created. Uh, we have last step. Go, to the, go back to the instance and associate a floating IP. Choose the NIC and choose the floating IP. We can see the uh, instance details here. And we can log into the console. Sorry. Oh, let me try again. Give me. Okay, you can you can do it. You can see the volume we just create, and uh, we can pin the public IP if you want. OK, let sorry, no, I'm not f familiar with the computer. <laughs> it's not mine. Now we can go to the uh, overview page in, in Dedicate. Here we can see that uh, the story pros will be has been used by the volumes we just created. And the CPU resource and memory. Now we can switch back to the public. I need to mention that uh, here we charge for virtual instance, virtual resource in public. Uh, but in dedicated, we could do the same thing. Uh, but we can also charge for uh, physical resources. Last, uh, I log out and relog with the administrator user. We can check the instance, all the instance in public and in dedicate. Here we can see uh, this, the instance from dedicate. Uh, it's on host uh, uh, node 7. Uh, this is a, ho a host in dedicate and other public. Uh, public instance are uh, hosted on the public host. 
Okay. Uh, this is the deployment of uh, dedicated cloud in minutes. Thank you. Thanks, Bo. Okay, let me continue the topic here. Now, the, you have the cloud, you will concern about the performance. We have multiple performance strategy to ensure you uh, cloud is have a better status, like you have multiple CPU memory combination and uh, virtualization ratio. You have a lot of limited storage uh, space. You can spin up your storage pool, and you can have multiple SSD plus HDD uh, storage uh, strategy. And uh, you have multiple high availability pattern of your internet access, and uh, you can set the floating IP bandwidth to control your internet access. And uh, now you have private cloud, you have public cloud. Now you are concerned about how to connect them together and in a single platform. So we have a ES connector. You can pr connect the private, public, even the hosted cloud together. So you have your business on your own dimension. You have your business on the public cloud. You can contact can connect them together, and we will hybrid every cloud in our platform. And the last, for the enterprise workload, what we need a cloud, a dedicated cloud as a service to do, we have to run our business. So we have multiple platforms to support, like uh, data analysis, Hadoop, Spark, or Storm. We have containerized service because you have isolate cloud as a service, so you can run a container as a service on this specific cloud. So you have, don't worry about the security issue. Uh, and we have WebLogic, WebSphere, and Oracle Rack to run the data analysis uh, with OpenStack and the EasyStack. We will support the, the financial, retailing, manufacturer, and the banking, all of stuff. We have all customers to no worry about you as platform is just a uh, concern about your business. That's, that's it. That's it. All right. OK. That's the ES Cloud, the next generation. Uh, and uh, we could provide cloud as a service here. OK. And uh, see us in the T29 if you want, if you have uh, any questions. OK. Thank you. Thank um, you.